2,883 miles to service. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because coming home from Tierra del Sol, I got a message there that was annoying ASFUCK. It was it's like every quarter mile, it's beep, 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 beep. Oh, it was annoying. And the, the message was service four wheel drive switch. And of course, all kinds of things were coming to mind. And I just wanted to get home, not have to take a tow truck. And happy to report, it made it home without a tow truck. So anyway, service four wheel drive switch, what is that? It's another way of your computer telling you that your transfer case is low on fluid. So anyway, this is a little bit of a mess up here. It wasn't there and from all that off-roading, I'm thinking, and definitely at different angles, I'm thinking that it, it boiled out a little bit because there's really no air to, to go in and out of a transfer case. But uh, anyway, the, the fix was go to your transfer case and of course uh, drain out your transfer case. And I got a little bit more in a quart and then uh, fill it. And I put in a little, you know, when I filled it with fresh fluid, I uh, filled it with just shy of two quarts. So anyway, and of course, trying to get that funnel or get a pump. Um, I, I had two one quart bottles and uh, I found this, uh, this funnel of China, eBay, and I like it because because it's straight on one side and then it's got the angle the other. So I can shove this in and then put in the one quart bottles. It makes it really quick and easy to, to fill and not too much of a mess. Of course, everything makes a mess when it comes to fluid down here. So uh, <clears throat> anyway, that's what I did and the message went away. I didn't have to reset anything. It just went away and proper fluid is anything with ATF plus four heck if you have old ATF plus three that the key here is the plus three or plus four and this stuff you know I got it on sale so it's actually the best stuff uh, I could find for the money and it's it's all uh, it's all uh, synthetic fluid O'Reilly's who would have thought right anyway <coughs> So that's uh, a little update on that as far as service four-wheel drive switch. I could stop the video right here and that pretty much explains it. But uh, I don't want to stop there. There's other things that I want to talk about. Now, the other thing is, <clears throat> of course, I was cleaning the vehicle. And I said, oh, the, the K&N filter needs to be cleaned. And... Uh, as, as I was cleaning it and I went to, to start applying the oil, you can see these pleats. If you can see it like that a little better. See how it's eroded certain parts? Anyway, the point is I called KN. I've I've owned this FIPK kit for uh, 17 years now. I'm the original owner of the uh, FIPK kit. And uh, sure enough, I, and I just told them what what happened. They sent me a, a new filter for free. It's, it's got a lifetime uh, warranty. And yeah, I mean, sent them a picture, boom, they sent me a new one. I didn't have to pay anything. And I had it within two days. So um, that's that's a little kudos to K&N. And I'm not sponsored or anything. I'm just, uh, you know, appreciative after 17 years that, hey, they still remembered who I was. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. Anyway, so, the other thing, <clears throat> I was uh, having problems with my transmission as far as uh, leaking fluid. You can see down there, leaking fluid, and I uh, found a... Uh, <coughs> You know, found a new uh, pan. I went ahead and changed the filters. You know, 
it's probably been about 50,000 miles. So I, I took care of that. My Adams drive shaft impacted the, uh, the transmission pan. So I adjusted the track bar up front. There's the track bar right there. So I adjusted it. <coughs> oh yeah, I never told you guys about the sway bars I ended up getting, the sway bar links. So just, just to show you, those are the sway bar links that I got. That, that number, that top number that I gave you in that video, it ended up working perfectly. With the, and it became apparent where the track bar needed to be versus the sway bars. But uh, anyway, it, it was too close to the transmission <clears throat> and it impacted the transmission pan there. So I adjusted it back a little bit to account for the, uh, the, uh, the whole axle moving side to side as the uh, vehicle bounces up and down so it would avoid it. But um, I was still having issues. It, it, it just felt weird, you know. It kind of the left left uh, side of the vehicle bounced, and then as I was inspecting back here, control arm out, I found a crack right there. It was cl cracked completely off, and yeah, that's not good. <laughs> this whole thing could could end up, you know, breaking off and. The front wheel end up underneath the, the middle part of the vehicle. I've seen photos of that, and now I know why. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> so I took it to my muffler shop, and uh, they welded that up. And then uh, they, it's hideous looking, I know, but uh, that's what they they uh, welded in this piece. And I had the beginnings of a crack on that side. It wasn't very much. It wasn't even a quarter inch long. But they went went ahead, welded the entire thing, and then put a, a piece also to, to help you know, support that. <clears throat> anyway, I torqued the transmission pan <laughs> to what it was supposed to be and what it says to do, but uh, it was still leaking. So today I just hand tightened it, you know, tighter, so without over, you know without breaking the bolts or anything just hoping that kind of fixes that but um since it's been leaking i figured i should at least check the uh, the fluid level of the transmission and i uh, kind of want to show you how to do that too for those of you who don't know so go ahead and get that going number one let's go look at the uh go look at the uh, the text on the uh, transmission dipstick you know a lot of people they don't they don't take the time to read this it's uh, kind of important I, regardless of which kind of vehicle you have you should always read the, the text and it says see if I can get it close enough it says geez Max, max level hot. Idling in neutral. Do not overfill. Use Mopar ATF plus type. The plus is the keyword. And 7176 auto trans fluid or Dextron 2. 52118641M. But anyway, but that's what it is. ATF plus. And I'm not a big fan of, uh, of the Max Live because they, uh, I've heard that, that it, it makes it shift very hard. So I'm not a big fan of that. Yeah, I know it's not, it's not, uh, you know, it's not a uh, hot the transmission, but it'll get there. That's what that's what I do. It's, I have this other funnel that I. And just shove in there and that's that's what I I do as far as filling it but actually I'm jumping ahead of myself here but so let's uh, put the vehicle in the condition to check the oil and the condition is number one step on the brake number two set the parking brake 
And then number three, start it up. Okay, and then brake still applied. Bring it down to neutral. Okay, let go of the brake slowly. Okay, we're it's engaged. The parking brake is engaged. All right, so by putting it in neutral and idling, now you got the pump circulating in the transmission. And with the pump circulating, obviously the level inside the transmission pan drops. So, and it drops the level that they want you to check it at. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick the dipstick in. I mean, it shouldn't need too much. Hopefully it doesn't need any. It probably needs some, who knows. And of course, it does tend to expand when it's hot, so, so the level will be higher. I always push it in as far as it'll go. That's as deep as it'll go in the pan. Anyway, just to see where we're at. And looks like it says we're at minimum. Just, just right around minimum. So it shouldn't need much. We'll go ahead and get this going here. Get my ATF plus four from O'Reilly's. Nope, not sponsored either. But I did get a coupon. And that was from a uh, loyalty point reward program that they had. Slowly. Over there. Do this without making a mess. It'll probably be right in the money. You don't want to go much higher than that. I've heard of uh, these things shooting out if you over service it. You can, it can take a little bit of over service, but not a whole lot. So, and at the same same token, you can a little bit under service it, if, but not a whole lot as well. So, but that should be good. It's not hot, and we're good. So, time to shut it down. Put this in neutral. Take the key out, and I'll check it the uh, next time. Um, so next time it's hot, but that's it. That's uh, it in a in a nutshell. Just so you know how to uh, service the transfer case and the transmission. And there's other videos out there how to change the filter on the transmission. But yeah, big thing to look out for is these uh control arms 
that mount. Yeah, I've, I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to have to go uh, long arm kit. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's a project in the future. I don't really have the money or time to do that right now. For now, I'm just going to get the good out of this thing while I can. Enjoy it, right? So it's a little well job. 120 bucks at a muffler shop. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all take care.